Welcome to Highbridge Caravans. Today we're going to discuss the 2023 Adria Adora Isonzo. So we're going to show you a video of the caravan itself and uh, and then feel free to comment uh, on the video and things like that afterwards and indeed give us a call if you are interested. So the Adora range, uh, as many of you might know, is the mid-range of the caravan uh, that Adria supply for this year um, as is for 2024 as well so really nice spec caravan you get things like your Aldi wet central heating as standard which heats your hot water and your heating and the heating part is piped around the caravan radiating out from behind the seating on all the furniture really nice heat like what you're used to at home from your radiators so as we run down the side here you've got your water entry point so that's for your water pump that comes with the caravan and you've got your mains lead entry point as well and your battery box storage compartment and just running along the side here you've got your fridge vents to allow any heat to expel from the back of the fridge as it's working this has got the large fridge freezer in it, which we'll see later on in the video, is really spacious and very user friendly, as is the caravan. The caravan, along with all the other Adria caravans, very well designed, designed to be functional, right the way through the van. On the back of the caravan, great design feature, you've got the really high rise brake light at the back there, and then you've got the lower brake light just above where the number plate would be. All the lighting is LED on the outside and on the inside. Running down the near side, you've got a large access hatch. Now this is access for underneath the uh, large island bed. So the island bed is what they call a transverse island bed. So off the side wall, really big hatch. Get your chairs out there and waste master and whatever else you need to get out. And then you have your gas barbecue point at the front, which is piped through from the front locker. And then you have a, another storage hatch here for smaller items and also a mains outlet. So here's your barbecue point, just there, piped through from the locker in the front, which we're gonna look at next. So when Adria designed this range, they thought, what can we make different about the front? Need to make it more practical than has been before. And uh, they've certainly done that. So what we'll do is we'll lift the front open, very easy, box up on gas struts, and there we have it. So really accessible. Up and over door. You've got space for your spare wheel storage there two gas bottles and also this stacker system which they put in all of their Adora caravans. You've also got your corner steady winder and wheel brace clipped in, tucked in out the way. Again, really practical, very well designed. Longer A-frame on the Adrias. Gives you more access to the front locker and also in some cases you can put bike racks on there as well as an optional extra. Sunroof with your two panels to match either side. A lot of caravan manufacturers nowadays are concentrating on natural light. So in increasing the natural light as much as possible, making the caravans lighter and of course if you use it in the winter increasing the attraction again going back to the winter usage this has got the Aldi wet central heating system and insulation on the body shell is excellent designed to be used all year round manufacturer is based in Slovenia so people use these in Europe to go skiing throughout the winter and what have you in colder climates 
So as you walk into the caravan, straight away you'll see that there is the kitchen. Very well designed. Um, big fan of this design kitchen. This is actually a little bit bigger than the, the other video I've done on the Tiber, just because the layout allows you to redesign the interior. So the front seating is, is very similar size. Um, but the kitchen, a little bit different, a little bit further forward, possibly, but mainly you've got bigger storage. So you've got a lovely big storage rack there. Okay, both caravans, the Isonzo and the Tiber, have this flip-up worktop extension as standard, which is really nice on the 2023 models. And then you have this built-in triple hob and sink. Very practical, keeping everything neat and tidy and smart. And of course, a bit of worktop here, you've got extra worktop there. The draining board for this, the idea is that you would shut that down, the draining board sits on top of there for you to stack your dishes on should you wash up in the caravan. Storage above, really quite good as well. So you've got plate racks and mug racks, and then in this one, you've got your microwave and a little bit of storage next to it as well. And then below the sink, really well designed kitchen again, they're all always trying to think of something new when they're designing these new ranges. Adria's, as far as I know, uh, as far as I've been selling them, which is quite a while, have always been very well thought out, designed to be practical and spacious and really sort of smart, smart design. So this bed goes to, sorry, this seating area goes to a double bed. So you pull out the slats from either side and they join in the center with the legs. And then not having the front drawers means that it's a very spacious bed. This table drops down out the way. And then if you do decide to have it as a seating area with to play games or to eat dinner or after a barbecue, what have you, there is a freestanding table just located in that cupboard there. So next thing we'll look at is the TV points. So again, really nice common design, which I think um, nearly everybody uses in this fashion is the TV bracket is as you walk in the door on the right, because everyone sits at the couch at the front and looks back towards the telly. So very, you know, again, pretty standard throughout most manufacturers. This one's on a triple arm, so it allows you to position various sizes of TV in the right place and the right angle and of course you can remove it from the bracket for travel which is what we recommend. There is USB sockets dotted around the caravan you see there's two here along with a main socket below it just under that flap that's for your telly of course you've got your coax point and then underneath here you have got another one just dotted up there so again if you're sat at the front you want to charge any phones or tablets you can do comes with the Adria Media system, Bluetooth operated from your device, sync with it, you can play whatever you're playing on various uh, radio stations, etc. So we'll have a look at the fridge now. So the fridge is really nice design, very popular. Being a single axle caravan with this large fridge freezer, it's quite a rarity because the caravan has uh, got a slightly different chassis. It's got the Euro chassis on it, which means they can put a slightly larger body shell, allowing the, uh, again, a bit more space inside the van to put the large fridge in. So on the near side, you've got very large cupboard and also wardrobe. So your wardrobe just there, expansion tank for the Aldi heating, because you have got the antifreeze water mixture in the heating system, need the expansion tank there. And then you've got your TV aerials located in this particular model in there as well. Fully directional roof mounted aerial. To the right hand side of that you've got plenty of storage with some shelves and then more shelves below. Now in this cupboard you might think it's more storage but actually what it is it's the location for the Aldi heating system and your hot water system there all in one unit. More central, better weight distribution also gives you more storage underneath the front seats because these seats obviously lift up and there is storage underneath them and uh, if the Aldi hit boiler was under there which it is in most vans Adria feel that give you a bit more storage under there for 
low down storage space and weight distribution. So we'll have a look at the bedroom now. So as you can see, large, large double bed. Really nice design, memory foam mattress, zip off covers for ease of cleaning. And also both sides actually uh, have got a ratchet system underneath so you can sit up in bed or watch telly in bed if you wanted to. Um, that's all there or they obviously drop down for flat use at night. Really practical again, catering for everybody's needs. The lighting throughout the caravan is really subtle. So you have got the little spotlights underneath, as you can see, just dotted there. And you've got some subtle lighting above the curtains, but also there's lighting all the way around above the cupboards, as you can see, shedding a nice light all the way around the caravan. This caravan's very, very spacious, just like the Tiber, due to it being eight foot wide. They do a single bed model from this age called the Sane. Now that isn't seven, that isn't eight foot wide. That's actually a little narrower because being single beds, you don't necessarily need such a large central area walking through to the rear bathroom. So we'll cover that on another video though. So again, space to walk around the bed, which is really important. Again, gaining that from the eight foot wide body shell. So looking into the bathroom, so you'll see that there's the shower, nice walk-in space. The uh, rear part of the heating system is actually located in the shower, act like a drying room. Really nice feature, one of my preferred designs. And you have got the hanging rail there, so you can hang anything up in there, whether it be coats or wetsuits or even ski gear if you're going to go... Uh, abroad in the winter or to Scotland or something you know you've got your option there to dry your ski gear that's the whole point in that design so spacious sink storage underneath storage to the right hand side there as well and then you've got your Thetford cassette toilet with touch button flush storage on the side and again mirror up there Very practical, very user friendly. Really big storage above the bed as well for folding jumpers or whatever you want. And then loads of storage underneath this bed as well. Again, we spoke earlier about the access hatch on the outside. You can actually lift this bed up like so. And then also access it from the inside. This is the same bed design in the Tiber as well. So you can, uh, you can reference that video and think, oh, is the bed the same? Well, it is. Part of your radiator system there. So that's, that's what's part of the Audi heating system. It runs around the outside of the caravan. And then you've got more behind that boarded section there, radiates out. So that's the 2023 Adria Adora Isonzo. So feel free to come along at either branch. We do have them on display and uh, we have currently got a couple left in stock at special prices. So worth taking, uh, taking a trip down and seeing us if you are looking to change your caravan. Thanks for watching.